All right, welcome back to James Plays. Thank you for joining me today. Um, we are, I just moved um, back home for the summer. So instead of trying to continue our rogue run, uh, we're gonna do a daily with horror. Um, we haven't gotten Rogue's Beast skin yet. We will, I promise. Um, and we will return to that. This isn't a sign of defeat. This is just a bit of a break um, as I'm still moving into new accommodations. Uh, and I haven't had time to do proper prep for one of those episodes. With that out of the way, uh, I'm looking forward to a good melting run. And this is also a warm up for what we're going to be doing next uh, in terms of Beast Skins, which is Melting's Beast Skin. Um, in order to get that, we need to go to the uh, defeat the hyper crystal as melting. It's a little simpler than rogues and a little more doable as melting is actually a good character, um, and we don't have to fight what is, in many people's opinion, the hardest boss in the game. All right. This is so much easier without IDPD just everywhere. Also, I'd like to apologize for the, the delay of one day of no episodes. Um, I was uh, moving out of my university house and into uh, back into my parents' house, so um, just a brief delay there. That shouldn't happen again. The plan is to have at least an episode a day, um, and I wholeheartedly intend to keep to that, so back in uh, Toronto. Ontario, from Kingston, Ontario, where my university is. Please don't, uh, please don't dox me. Or, if, I mean, if someone cared enough about me to kind of, like, tr to try and dox me and find out, like, all my personal details, I think I'd be more flattered than I would be upset. Um, yeah, this, this will be fun. We're gonna do a fun run. Uh, trying to, uh, sorry, I just hit a little something on the screen. We're, we're not trying to, you know, get Rogue's Beast skin or anything, we're just trying to have some fun playing this game. So, something that I feel has been a little bit absent in some of the latest episodes. Uh, speaking of Rogue, um, like I said, that will return. Uh, we're gonna do another, uh, prepped run, and you won't see the runs until I get it. Uh, I've reco I recorded a, quite a few episodes and didn't get it in any of them, so I've decided I'm just not going to put those up, um, and I won't uh, I won't put any rogue episodes out until the one that I get it. Um, so spoiler alert, but I guess the next one you see will be the one where we get it. Um, what else have we got? I was thinking about something. Um, what I had said about the pizza sewers. Uh, when you go to the pizza sewers, you're not really going... Well, yes, you are. Never mind. Sorry. Uh, I thought for a second, because it's the number of portals you go through, right? So, leaving the sewers, you go through a portal anyway, like we just did. And leaving to go to the pizza sewers, you do the same thing. But it just inserts a level in between it and... The other thing. That's why going to um, Crown Vaults will also increase the difficulty, as far as I know. Or should, anyways, if it's following that rule. Uh, that's not something I know for a fact. That's just something I know in my heart. Uh, I also know in my heart that we should stop getting hit. We should also pick up a weapon that isn't a slugger or a revolver. Assault Rifle will do... Emphasis on the will do as opposed to the, you know, is good. Um, it's great in the desert and stuff, but really it just, uh, I've grown slightly disillusioned with the assault rifle. Get shot. Last crow. There we go. Yeah. And on to the next floor. Mutation, strong spirit. My plan for this for this run is to think as little as possible about each mutation. Um, I don't see anything that could possibly go wrong with this. I foresee no issues whatsoever. Um, we're gonna take the one that seems the coolest. Yeah, that's that's really what we're aiming for, is um, the coolest mutations. I posted a picture on the on the subreddit the other day of me um, doing a run where I almost uh, pooped twice as a rogue. 
Um, unfortunately, I was not recording, but that was one of the runs I was doing to, to put a energy sword in a proto chest to kind of prep for another attempt. Um, and I got way farther than I was ever expecting, so I posted a picture, and someone commented about how I had extra feet. I guess that's like a bad mutation, apparently. Like, I'm not gonna let other people decide what to think for me, but I guess it's not like a well-liked mutation. Um, which surprises me, because, I mean, it's not, like, the greatest thing ever. Oh, Hyper Red would be nice. Market increase in the rate of fire. Um, it's not the greatest thing ever, but it's not bad. I mean, I feel like, like, I felt, you know, laser rate, cool. Um, like, it made me feel like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have taken it, you know. But, uh. I didn't pay them any attention. I still think it's a good mutation. Maybe he was like, oh nice, you got- he, ju he just said like, um, faster feet, huh? Or something like that. So I was like, well, well, is, is he like making fun of, um, it, or no, it wasn't even like, huh, it was just like faster feet. Or not faster feet. Uh, extra feet. Um, in like the little quotation thing, and that was it. There was no other context to like his feelings about me having to take extra feet. So either he was like, hey, nice, that's a great underrated mutation that, you know, you should be proud of for taking. Or he was like, wow, what a scrub. This guy, like, does not know how to play the game. Get good, bro. Um, or he was just messing with me. Maybe he was like, maybe if I just like say the name of one of his mutations, he'll go crazy thinking about it. If that was his plan, then I must say, well executed, good sir or madam. As it has gone off flawlessly. Yes. Uh, <laughs> sorry, that was just a minor interruption to my train of thought. So it's gone excellently without uh, any interruption. Um, any interruption. I really need to, to unscramble my the eggs that are my brain. Um, what was I talking about? Scarier face is, in a, is a mutation we're going to take. I also like to apologize for any sounds you hear in the background. Um, I will sort out a, a better place to record shortly. Is that a... Oh my god. I love this run already. This is... Why don't we just get the beast kid with this guy? Energy sword and super slugger before we even like got out of the frozen city. That's I why can't I have this luck with weapons like with literally any other character? Any of them would be fine. Uh should we take a crown? That's the next question. Maybe I should do what I did with the mutations and just not think about it. I'm thinking about it too much, but still. Hey, this one's good, because I can still pick two mutations, and those are both good. See, we're talking- extra feet is just too cool. We should have taken a health mutation, but I'm just a, you know, badass, so not play by the rules. Where's the shadow? Where's the shadow? Where's the shit? There's the shit. Oh, this is going really, really well. And as soon as I say that, of course, something will go bad. But, you know. Uh, obviously, long arms would be fun uh, with this weapon. Eagle eyes uh, would be good for the super slugger, which will carry both of these to the throne. Um and onwards, so, uh, excuse me just a moment. Alright, great, I just wanted to get that door. <sighs> Wonderful. So as I was saying, we'll take both of these to the throne, um, see where they can take us after that, we'll just go as far as we can. Maybe it was the change of location that really, like, helped me out here. 
but who knows. What I wonder, um, does the crown of the whatever crown I took, I think it's crown of destiny, um, does that give you a free mutation as in like it skips you ahead by a level? Or is it a free mutation not even counting the level so you can get more mutations than you normally would? Because I know a strategy, if, if you can get to uh, level ultra, no, that's bad. Uh, if you can get to level ultra before looping, then you can take that and um, get like more mutations than you should. You know, if you take it after your level ultra. Um, I think level ultra sounds weird. Um, wow. Uh, then that, that and that's a strategy to get more mutations, but I don't know if it Second stomach it gave us another chance to make the right choice Oh hi Please don't kill me Oh god, okay, okay, we're okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. God, I, those, those big dogs, literally like how well you do, or I say you, how well we do here anyways, uh, on the palace, uh, I've found is pretty much entirely determined by how many of those nuclear dogs there are, how many of the dog guardians. Uh, I think they have the highest health of any non-boss enemy in the game. So, um, whoop, not a mimic, you, you, heavy crossbow. If I didn't have such good weapons, like I would, would have picked up all these weapons by now. We're just getting like a deluge of, of good weapons. Watch, next run we do with Rogue is just going to be like, yeah, do you want to take a crossbow for the whole game? How's that sound, buddy? Yeah, we'll take that, because um, that'll help us a, a lot with... Um, should have taken it with the energy sword. Um, with these weapons, we don't have log arms, which is unfortunate, and we don't have eagle eyes, but these weapons are still just fine. Uh, having laser brain with the energy sword is just too, too, too good. Um, trigger fingers would have been fun, but you know what? It's best not to, to uh, dwell on the mutations that you don't have. Just focus on the excellent ones we do have, like scarier face, laser brain. Oh, uh, I should be fighting with Rum. Instead of being distracted. Give me your ammo. Let's um, see how far we can get um, after this. Still have the second throne to go through, as well as the IDPD. Uh, oh, nice, we got the Crown of Destiny unlocked. Okay, I was not even considering that as part of what we were doing here. I think it really, depending on what weapons you have, the second throne, um, I was about to say was easier, <laughs> as I got hit, um, in many ways can be easier than the first throne, or can be way harder. Um, ultra. Yeah, I think we'll take that one, because um, we're not going to be using the rad beam that much, because we don't have the throne, but... Oh god. Impact wrist is real. Dream. Oh, oh no. Run away. Ha, jackhammer. Oh god, you. Oh. That's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. But um, for a short episode today, I think that was a lot of fun. Um, so tune in next time, hopefully tomorrow, 
uh, see some more Rogue. I'll also try and put up an episode that isn't Rogue if you're not into that. Um, but either way, tune in hopefully for both, and I'll see you next time.